Hold up. Alright guys, welcome back, welcome back. Sorry I've been gone for a while. I know I got a lot of content to make up for, but hey, I'm here and back with a part two to the uh, Huntress uh, build video that I did during my last upload. So perks are Huntress's Lullaby, Oppression, Surveillance, and Pop Goes the Weasel. Oh, nice. I kind of figured that there was somebody on this gen. They ran around here. Here, generator tomorrow. Yeah, I'm, I might want to get them off of this. Yeah, they were they were building up quite the progression there. All right, got a good melee hatchet right there. Nice. So, we have an early hook at the beginning of the game, one injured, and Pop Goes the Weasel will be up. So we could use our Pop Goes the Weasel and Oppression on the generator that's built up uh, right in front of me. And let's see where everybody is. The good thing about this build is um, Oppression itself. Oppression is a really, really good perk, in my opinion. Um, while survivors are working on the generator, uh, they'll get a difficult skill check if the RNG of the perk chose that generator. So if they don't hit it, then they alert me their location. I'm looking for the person that saved that Lori. Yeah, somebody's back there. And they're over here. Nice. Alright, that's a finished gen, but that's okay. I think I get a hit here. Or maybe not. Not anymore, anyway. Does she just like the camp pallets? Yeah, she does. Right. Is she taking me to Killer Shack? Oh, that was a nice, well timed uh, last second dodge. Alright, I'm gonna have to eventually let her go if I can't get her. Never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, I'm eventually gonna have to let her go um, to reload my hatchets, but this works out fine too, because I get another Huntress Lullaby stack, as well as uh, Oppression and Pop Goes the Weasel loaded up again. So this is really nice. It's not the best pressure I could ask for, but it's a start. Uh, what the purpose of this build, just so you know, was for, uh, particularly for killer players that love the prioritized generators over, like, let's say, healing or uh, punishing aggressive survivors. Like, every, every killer has a very different play style on how they like to play. Some people play really patient. Some killers prefer to get pr uh, pressure immediately while other killers prefer to monitor generators. So this build is really good for just monitoring gens. That being said, survivors will still find a way to rush through gens uh, pretty quickly. Oh, wow, that was a double statement, I guess. Whatever, but survivors will still find a way to get through gens pretty quickly. So this is literally all about the killer and how aware they are of the generators and what areas they're controlling. Like, I'm, you know, walking around the map looking at different, you know, generators and monitoring each and every generator. Of course, I'm not going to be able to keep, a tr like, an eye on every single generator. But what I can do is lock down specific areas or slow the progression on gens that they want to work on so I know that I have a guaranteed survivor right there. Alright, they finished that generator. I get a feeling they're working on that one that I'm looking at.
deciding where to go next. I know that at the beginning of the game, Lori was on this generator, and I know that uh, somebody might be on the generator by the rock, since that's the only one I haven't checked all this time. I could have had it. Oh, what? Okay. really weird. I'll keep trying. There's no harm in not. Take that hit. Is she still looking behind her? No. She's probably going to just start rushing over to pallets and throwing them down. I don't know what she was thinking right there. I knew they would finish that one. That's okay. They're just kind of pushing the generators closer to me, which is what I want. That's why I've been trying to slow down those two generators that I just couldn't stop. Um, because I figured that they would eventually just try to rush those gens and, put, and push the gens closer to me. So now I have a tighter lock on the gens. Alright, let me check this one over here. There is some progress on it. So, was Jane the one that was going for all the early hook saves? I'm not sure. I do like the fact that she took a hit for a teammate so that I didn't just go after her teammate. That's really commendable. Had I not fully charged that hatchet, I would have actually got the hit because she ran into it, but it clipped right through her. Alright. Really need to start applying some uh, pressure on these gens. So, don't worry, I did do a, a second, I did play a second game, I think, I'm not sure. Right. Okay, so they're over there, and nobody's working on the generator that's in the middle, so we're good. At least from this standpoint. I know that somebody wants to go and grab my basement hook. I would prefer if my basement hooked survivor uh, to hit second phase, but I don't see anybody over there. Alright, cool. Can I charge right here? They are still down there. Alright, that should call whoever's on that generator to get off of it. Meanwhile, I'm going to hook this person down here. This fang. I'm gonna just leave her slugged unless she has unbreakable. She might have unbreakable, but that's okay. I want to uh, get them off of this gen. Yeah, they were pushing it hard. I'm gonna take my guaranteed hit. Then I'm gonna kick this. I know that they're not working on any other gens. Um, except that one. Let's see if I can force her... She's not taking it. Alright, there we go. I'm going to pick her up, hook her, and then pop that gin again. Right, she ran to my left. There's pop goes the weasel. Oppression is on cooldown. Okay. 
okay I'm kind of confused on where she went Is she hiding in a locker somewhere I'll take the free reload So they were working on this one. I'll take that. And they are back on that gen again. I wanted to get it from across the map originally. Oh, that's a hit that I'll definitely take, though. No harm in that. I'm going to get a hit on... Okay, never mind. I think they've done used up, like, most of the pallets on this map, except for in the back right corner, which I think is a dead zone. that they're working on that one back on this gen again which means that I can go after that person all right awesome now I need to hurry up and hook this person and then pop that gen and see if oppression oh no oppression's on cooldown it's only bad thing is that oppression is on cooldown. They might have already finished that generator, but I do still probably get a guaranteed kill, meaning that we might come out of this with 3k. Potentially 4 if that generator isn't near finished. Okay, yeah, 3k. That's okay. Alright, so who am I chasing right now? This is... Fang. There we go. Yeah, you do have to be careful when playing around certain pallets and lubes because a uh, huntress can throw over, uh, throw hatchets over them. Also, um, guys, let me know what your opinion is on a dedicated huntress guide. Oh, and yes, uh, for anybody asks in the comments or anything like that, yes, I'm going to camp this uh, Feng Wei, or not this Feng Wei, well, this Feng Min. Um, I don't really have a reason not to, seeing as it's the end of the game, there's a door right next to me, I don't have anywhere else to go. If I go across the map and no survivors on that door then I'd literally just let this survivor get off of the hook for free so I might as well just give Jane the guaranteed escape and then um go accordingly from there doesn't look like she's over there though So hatch is right here. Close this for some extra points. Due to my proximity to the hook, I should have came out with a brutal kill score. I'm not sure. I'm assuming that it would be brutal though. Since they finished all the generators. Had a couple of generators been left over, then I probably would have got it. Uh, got ruthless. We'll see. What's the uh, results looking like? Oh, I got, I got a ruthless. Okay, never mind then. 
Let's go. How many points was this? Not bad. Definitely not bad. Triple gold and one iridescent. I'll take that. And what what ranks was I dealing with? Rank three, a rank six, a rank ten, and a rank two. I don't even know if that was an actual Survivor Friend Squad or not. Seems like it is. No, nah, because um the Jane let escape, she's on console. Alright. Okay. Game two. Adam Preschool. I'm not a big fan of this map. Right, who's up here? I'll get a hit here. Cool. He threw the pallet down. I'm not going to respect it. He threw it down and ran away. I don't have a reason to respect the pallet at that point. Hey, we got the most early down of the game. And they were putting in some work on this generator. I'll take that hit and then I'll kick this. Let's continue with our chase. Where'd she go? So lost, but okay. I don't know why she was just right there. Generally, behind the, the, the preschool is not a good zone. Just because there's like one unsafe pallet or mind game mobile pallet back there, depending on your killer, so. Somebody is working on that gen. I would like to know who. They're back on it. They have spine chill. So who's over here? Oh, hi there. Oh, okay. Game, thank you for cocking me out of a hatchet. Take that hit. to the totem. At least that lets me know that somebody wasn't on generators. So. In my opinion, Lullaby isn't that great of a totem unless you're like running a, a, a really dumb monster build. It's not a totem that you should necessarily worry about. Then again, to each their own. him right here and get another pop on this because I do want that to regress they're definitely gonna pump out that generator in the building I think he dropped down where do you go Is 
he heading to my hook? I can't hear him. The, I'm surprised that even I got that. I know that he's mad about that one. Oh, the pallet's not right here. <laughs> it's so weird because you don't know where the pallet spawns. Okay, game. Failed 360 attempt, that's okay with me. Yeah, I didn't want to per I'm like I Okay, don't get me wrong. I know some people want to guard the generator that's in uh the main building that's in the, the preschool, but me personally I don't. Sometimes I'll just let that generator fly. Just because the entire structure of Battle preschool, at least in my opinion, is really strong. There's like two or three god pallets that you have to force down, and it's honestly a chase that's not worth investing unless the survivor is that bad. Somebody has to be working on this one back here. If not, then I kind of just let two people go for free. out of the way I'll let him go I mean I don't necessarily like tunnel no fuck no unless the survivor triggered me okay he threw it down and ran away it was a safe pallet Okay. I don't understand his pathing. I think he was just that dead set on avoiding the hatchet. Kick the gym closest to us. Oppression? No oppression. Okay. I'm assuming that means that that generator is done regressing. Yeah, alright, no one's working on it. So, they've put themselves in a really bad position that I don't think they can get themselves out of. I, and I forgot that I, I that was my last hatchet, unfortunately, but I can reload right here. But yeah, they put themselves in a really, really tight position, so all four generators are in real close proximity of each other. It doesn't take me too much work to get from one gen to another, and they've used up a good majority of the pallets that are in this area. The pallets of the preschool are still up. Um, there is that pallet behind me that I never kicked, so that's safe if they want to play that. Three people injured. Oh, nice. He does know the killer shot guy that is gone, right? Maybe not. He must have realized that the second that he went into Killer Shack, that always irritates me as a survivor when they, when like survivors kind of just waste the pallet. In my opinion, that Kate could have taken a hit and ran to like the preschool. That would have been a better idea. Alright, 
So we have Oppression and Pop Goes the Weasel up. So what are we slowing down? I can kick this and then I'll get that pallet out of the way. Alright, they went for the basement save. They wouldn't still be down here, right? I'll go for Jeff. Okay, that was weird. Got that generator over there. They keep doing the gens that are furthest away from them. Or furthest away from me. Alright. This is a kill. Let's check on him. here so I could put the, the I don't know what character he's playing I forget the, the, the new survivor but yeah um, I'll put the other slug on this uh, hook adjacent to adjacent to this area yep there we go and I think he's dead on hook Their biggest, their biggest mistakes was pushing the generators closer to me. There's some against killers that are really good at chase pressure. One thing that you don't want to do is push like the generators closer to them. You want the generators all evenly spread out. If a killer is monitoring three generators in close proximity of each other uh, for a three gen strat. You can easily break this by constantly baiting the killer away for chases because they can't focus on the gens too long. And then risk uh, trying to knock out one of the gens in the three gen uh, strat. How did I know that she was going to run all the way out here? I don't have a hook to hook her on. Or do I? Okay, I do. I didn't even know that she was down there. I just kind of assumed that somebody was. Okay. Thank you, game, for not giving me my head. He doesn't really have too many places to go, so... Either way, this is a win-win. So, GG. Oh, he's not even wiggling, so it doesn't matter. Good game. Um, yeah, they just they made a lot of mistakes. Both games, uh, both groups of survivors pushed the gens closer to me, which is just a bad idea. And we double picked, which is nice. 
So, yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.